Greetings, Virgo. Welcome to your horoscope. Okay, so for you, like Capricorn time is about opening your heart. You know, this is really funny because, you know, we sometimes we think of Virgos as being uptight and Capricorn not being that different, but um, there's kind of this love of earthiness, you know, and I know with like Virgo rising, a lot of Virgo rising is fun. Capricorn kind of sexy, you know, it's in the fifth house. It's like, oh, this could be like playful love. Like we're going to have fun here. You know, we're going to do things. And um, with Venus going in your fifth house, it's like, ooh, I like romance. I like play, you know, and then Saturn's there though too. And so it's like, well, Saturn and Venus are friends. It's like, hmm. Maybe I could be with an older guy or an older woman or somebody more experienced. Maybe, and you know, I have to learn how to love within guidelines. You know, and so this is like one thing I've been learning. It's like okay, there's like healthy boundaries. Don't always understand them, you know, because I'm such a K2 South Node kind of person. I'm like, boundaries are like ridiculous. Most of them. <laughs> Does a snake pay attention to a bo to the border? I mean, that's a quote from uh, Lone Star. <laughs> you know, no, it doesn't care what side of the Rio Grande it's on. You know, um, <clears throat> but I think for the most part, your heart is open. You're feeling generous. You're feeling capable of loving, and this is a good thing. More love, more love, more love for Virgo. Yes. More play, more creative expression, writing songs, painting pictures. It's all there. Okay. <clears throat> and yes, Christmas is romantic for you, Virgo. I, I couldn't get it all in there, but... <clears throat>